guys hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl gloria love is on the beauty how are you all doing today i hope you guys are doing great if you are new on my channel you're highly welcome if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel what are you still waiting for please do subscribe to my channel turn the bell notification on so that you'll be getting notified whenever i drop a video for my old subscriber thank you so so much for stopping by for my new subscriber i do appreciate each and every one of you Thank you so much for always stopping by to watch my video. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. So guys, as you can see on this video, I'm so very, very excited to make this video. Okay? So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I become a cook in Italy. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Stay tuned and watch this video to the end. How I become a cook in Italy is that, um, you know, let me just say, I came, I, I, let me just say, I came to Italy 2016, yeah, I came to Italy 2016, August 1st, 2016, which is this year, August, I will complete five years in Italy, yeah, so guys, I arrived through Libya, okay, I arrived through Libya, and then, then, from when we arrived to Italy, so, we came through Sicily, from Sicily, they now take us to Bologna, Bologna camp, yeah. So from Bologna camp, that is, let me just say, I always spend one day in Bologna, one night. I always spend one night in Bologna. The next day, uh, they brought me to Rimini Zoom, yeah, yeah. I always spend, I only experience one night in camp in Bologna. The rest of my year, I spend it in Italian family house. When you when you see me say, I normally say. I'm going to my Italian family house. That is exactly the place I stay when I came to Italy. Okay, so the next day they now took me to Italia house. They said I should stay there. Yeah, I'm going to stay there. Yeah, when I go to that place, you know, as a Nigerian girl, I need money. I want to work. I was like, I can't stay at home doing nothing. I need work. People should find me work. You know, guys. They were not telling me that everything is not about is everything is not all about work. The first thing I I, I have to do is to go is to go back to school. Then after school, before we start looking for a job, I was like, wow, for how long? You know, this life maybe you'll be thinking one year is too long. One year is nothing. Two years is nothing. Three years, is, even five years, it's nothing. You just be looking at it. One year, two years is is too long. It's not long. You can do it. You can do it. It's not long. I was like, okay, no problem. After then, the nurse said that I'm going to learn Italian language first. That is my first thing that I will I will learn because without Italian language here, yeah, I cannot work. Yeah. Because here in Italy, you must learn the language. If not, searching for a job is very difficult. Everything will be very difficult for you because if you don't know what they are saying, if you don't hear what they are saying, everything will be very difficult for you. I said, okay, no problem. I told them that okay, I want to go back to school. Yeah, I was staying at home doing nothing, you know. I told them I want to go back to school. So they now invite me a teacher teaching me how to speak Italian, you know. From there, inside that same year 2016, and then it was September or October, I started going for language school. Yeah, I started going for language school. Yeah, on one very faithful day. The father of the house now called me and asked me, Gloria, do you love to go to K3 school? I said, yeah, if I have the opportunity to go, I will love to go. Then and I asked the man, for how long it will take for me to go to school? And he told me that two years. He told me that two years. I said, okay, no problem. I will go. I never say no. Anything they ask me to do, I never say no because I, I need something to be doing, you know. I want to have something doing i cannot depend on anybody you know i don't love depending on anybody i want to work with my hand you know i said okay i would love to go to school so they now speak to my assistant socially then they gave me assistant socially they gave me people that is assisting me yeah so they now speak to them they now say that i would love to go to k3 school they now went to the school and registered for me this school is just normal school i started i go to school in the morning Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. I'm already in school. Then I will close two o'clock in the afternoon, which is six good hour. Then I will come back home before we get home. It will be three o'clock because I'm going to wait for bus. I will get to three o'clock, eat. 
I only have one hour, 30 minutes to rest. It's 4.30. I will go to my language school. Yeah, I normally go to language school 5 o'clock. I resume school 5 o'clock in the evening, but I have to be there before 5 o'clock, you know. 4.30, I'm already, ready. I'm already set to go back to school. In language school, then, I go. I do go to language school Monday to Thursday. Monday to Thursday, I go to language school. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will be at home resting. But for my K3 school, from Monday to Friday, from 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock, yeah. Then I was going for K3 school. And in our school, then we have uniform. We have uniform for our kitchen. And we also have uniform for our, uh, if you want to go for barista, you know. We were doing two courses at the same time there. Kitchen and a barista. If you want to go for barista, you are okay to go. If you want to go for a uh, cook, you are okay to go. We are doing the two course, just that I did not like working in bar as a barista or waiter. I did not like if I want to apply, maybe if I want to look for a job now, I want to be working like I want to work like an um, waiter, barista. I can do it because I also have the certificate. The two certificates are combined together because we do the same course. We go, we also do K3 school and a uh, barista. We were doing the two together because for inside our five days in one week, two days in kitchen, two days uh, in bar, the other day we use it to study. That was what we were doing then. So I started going to school 2016. That same year, 2016, when I started going to school 2016, I don't even know how to speak Italian. I don't speak Italian. Even when I was still going to language school, I don't speak Italian. I was just going. But my hobby is I, I love cooking. It's one of my hobby. I love cooking. So it's something, if you love doing that thing and you have the opportunity to learn more and you will have the encourage to concentrate because I love cooking that right from when I was in Nigeria when I was little because we started going to school alone when we started GSS1 because in our village we don't have a better secondary school so after primary six we go out we go far away from our parents and they they rent house from us and then we started going to school there yeah, so from there I started learning how to cook because we were alone, so we must cook what we eat. Yeah, and that was when I love cooking. I love cooking. So after when I started going to school, I was like, I prefer working in the kitchen. That uh, waiter, I'm not used to it because I'm a shy person. How can I be standing from uh, standing uh, standing for my client, asking my client question? You know, many stuff like that. I'm a shy person. I don't even know how this YouTube. YouTube channel have changed me so for so many many things because I can share for Africa I don't talk to people I don't make friends with people you know I'm a shy person I say I cannot go for waiter I will go for cook because I love cook yeah from there I started doing some things even sometimes in school we do practice many of the many of things like that yeah even when I got home I will start doing it at home when I got home I will start practicing what we learned from school from there I was learning gradually gradually even then someone will still come home to come and teach me how to speak italian and then after that i will still go back to school to go and learn more yeah i went for italian school for one year after one year they said that i must write exam you know they said that i'm gonna write exam so i wrote my exam and i come out with flying color people were so surprised when i wrote my exam when they see my certificate of the exam, that was when they gifted me with phone. I was living in Oimbo family house for good one year without phone, without calling, without chatting with anybody. I was just there. If if only I want to talk to my mother, they will allow me to talk to my mother. They will give me phone to call my mom. But using phone like this, I don't use phone. They did not allow me to use phone. The very day I wrote down my Italian exam and I passed my exam, when they see my certificate, they gifted me with phone. That was when I started using phone in Italy. If you can do it for one year without phone, leave your comment at the comment section, okay? I'm sharing you guys my experience in Italy. And then after that, I still continue going for my K3 school because I went for K3 school for good two years. I started K3 school in 2016 and then I wrote my exam 2018. Yeah. After the exam... You know, normally I started going to school 2016, 2017. I work 2017. They look for you know, to work for me. I said, Okay, for me to be staying at home because during summer, 
with the school is locked during summer i that was my first work in italy they find a through you know for me then i do the job you know from there i was i was you know i love the job yeah the job i love the job then from there after summer the school started again i continue my study then after that and i wrote my exam i wrote the exam for the uh, the uh, the catering school and I also wrote the exam for the waiter or barista if you want to become barista or if you want to be doing waiter I also wrote the exam because the two the two school combine together and we do everything together both certificates are working together if I want to use my certificate to look for a job as a waiter I can able to do it or catering school or cook because I prefer cook even when they ask me what is your favorite you want to become a cook or you want to become barista or uh -huh. i said no i prefer cook i love cooking from there i started doing one or two things at home whenever i'm at home i sh uh, I, I, I examine myself if i know what i'm doing i examine myself do some things that we did in school many things like that i can do it i can bake a cake a lot of things like that biscuit oh nothing that i cannot do just that i don't have time to be doing all those things i don't have time going back to work after work coming back home i'll still come back home and start doing all those things it's not going to be easy but i think in future i will be sharing you i will be sharing with you guys what i learned from school but for now i don't think i can able to be doing that for now but in future i will be showing you guys my my work the type of work i do here i'll be sharing with you guys you know guys yeah so guys that was how i become cook from there i started looking for job from there i was doing only summer work for inside that summer work sometimes i work three months two months yeah from there i was still looking for a regular work a regular job yeah because in here in italy most of the work here are only part-time you know many tough many things like that so from there i was looking for a job before i i able to get the one that i have now yeah because going for country school there is this certificate you need before you can work in the kitchen, which is Akachi GP. You need that certificate before you can able to be working in inside kitchen. If you don't have that certificate, you are not qualified to work in kitchen. You have to go for that. Uh, you have to go for that exam. Write that exam. Make sure that you have that certificate, which is Akachi GP. It's very important. If you don't have that certificate, you cannot work in the kitchen for a security reason. Yeah. I have all of them because I went for the school and the school gave me everything I want. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, this is my experience living in Italy. And I'm using this, this media and opportunity to tell you guys, if you have this opportunity, do not miss it. Especially for those that in the camp. If you have this opportunity to go back to school, to learn something, do not miss that opportunity. Because if I miss that opportunity, I will not become who I am today. I will not have this job that I'm using. I'm, I will not have this job today. So guys, this is my experience this is how i become cook in italy and then i love my job i love what i'm doing yeah i love what i'm doing so guys don't miss this opportunity and if you have this opportunity okay this is the end of my video and if you love this video don't forget to give this video you thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and turn the bell notification on so that you'll be getting notified whenever i drop a video thank you so so much for stop watching and then i will see you all in my next video bye bye